Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we heard the news about uh, a terrorist attack in Paris. Now before we start, please refrain of me from using any uh, comment which is not right. As you know, YouTube is run by a bunch of idiots. And it doesn't matter what you say, they will say it's a hate speech. If you say I don't like chocolate, they will say it's a hate speech. If you say... Uh, I don't I just say I don't you know and anything you know like the only hate speech they don't have in their calendar if you say I hate Trump then you're fine and actually they will love you so be careful we have a bunch of idiots controlling this platform today we heard the news about a Muslim and he's a good Muslim for sure we can't say he's a bad Muslim I mean, YouTube will take our video down we have to say he's a good Muslim uh, a nice Muslim who believe in Allah and the Prophet he decided to practice Islam in somebody who did show the student a cartoon of Muhammad now we cannot insult Muhammad no more because we are scared I mean, me honest I mean come on I cannot I will never dare to insult Muhammad anymore oh uh, from now on I will not say Muhammad is a false prophet I will no way I'm not going to use that word because I don't want somebody to jump on me with his knife and you know cut my head so I will change the word you know I will say Muhammad is a scumbag he's a filthy but I will not say he's I will not show cartoon too I mean that's that's it we are scared you know there is something those people don't understand that doing what you do is not only helping us and when we say us, those who are trying to expose the cult of Islam, but you are giving us a big support. All those idiots in France who don't want to listen to us, now they are listening. All those idiots in France who they are liberals, atheists, etc. All of them today, they agree that Islam is a big problem. All of them. So you see how much you support us? And now we are scared, as you see, I'm not going to say Muhammad is a false prophet, I will say he's come back, I will say he's a child molester, I will say I will refrain from anything will insult him. We are totally scared. I mean, you terrified us. <clears throat> what do you expect? I mean, what do you expect? You know, a few days ago, yesterday, I saw a video posted by uh, uh, David Wood. Uh, let me see where is the video. Let me let me find it. <clears throat> In his video, he was talking about how you know the Muslims. And we are talking about Muslims. We are talking about those who defend Islam supposedly. How they have an agenda is the, the agenda is very simple: is how to scare you, intimidate you, terrify you, scare you, so you will not speak ever about Muhammad. You don't believe in Muhammad? Fine, but shut up. That's what they want. They want you to shut up. If you don't shut up, then we are going to go and do something to you. This is the message. Now, if they are successful, that means they are already the terrorist. They became victorious. And I don't think they are successful at all. Each time they do such an attack. I'm just trying to open the video, last video of David Wood. Each time they try to do such an attack, you know, things work in the opposite direction. As an example, you know, David Wood, uh, they start insulting his wife, you know, targeting the wife of David Wood, uh, apostate prophet, uh, Samir Abdullah, uh, you know, and the purpose is what? Is to intimidate you and make you, listen, we are watching your family, you know, savage, you know, the devil himself. We're watching your family, so uh, come on, you know, shut up. And what those guys did, the opposite. The Muslims don't want to listen. That the more you go aggressive, <clears throat> the more people will go aggressive too. And there's people who they are coward, maybe they will be scared. But obviously those who they are fighting Islam, they are not cowards. Otherwise, they would be scared from a long time ago. I mean, I receive death threat every day. Um, just uh, two days ago, a guy, he sent me a message saying he know my name and he's going to uh, tell the Muslims about it. I said, good luck, you know. <laughs> he gave me a funny name. Anyway, so uh, 
they try to intimidate you they try to scare you so you shut up so if we shut up that means Islam prevailed this is the whole idea of terrorism of Islam they know the terrorism Muhammad he said I've been victorious by terror I'm not going to play the whole video of uh, David Wood I will go to the end We will hear some of it about people in the public domain in other words doxing this is shocking but far from surprising people should be aware of this background one of the most disturbing features of islam is its obsession with controlling what people can say and what people can do blasphemy laws terrorist attacks threats abuse insults doxing these are all tools in the jihadi's tool belt to help him control what you say and what you do. But to the Zakir Naiks and the Ijaz Ahmeds and the Muhammad Hijabs and the Ali Dawas of the world, let me say, you will never stop us from criticizing your fake prophet and his stupid, stupid book. Why? Because too much depends on our success in exposing your fake prophet. The future of humanity is at stake here. So your little plots just aren't going to work. But no matter how clearly we explain our reasoning, you Muslim apologists never seem to understand why we insist on criticizing and mocking your fake prophet, even in the face of threats and intimidation. So I think we should finally lay down some ground rules. Here are Wood's four rules of fair criticism. Rule number one, if your prophet calls for our violent subjugation, then we get to criticize and mock him. Rule number two, if your prophet promotes hatred and contempt and bigotry towards us and towards our families and towards our friends, then we get to criticize and mock him. Rule number three, if your prophet is responsible through his teachings and through his example for terrible states of affairs in the world today, such as the oppression of women in Muslim countries and the persecution of non-Muslim minorities in Muslim countries, then we get to criticize and mock him. Rule number four, if your prophet had sex with a prepubescent girl and married the wife of his own adopted son, and received revelations that gave him special moral privileges, and thought he was demon-possessed, and tried repeatedly to hurl himself off a cliff, and claimed to be the victim of a magic spell that gave him delusional thoughts and false beliefs, and admittedly delivered revelations from the devil, and declared that the sun sets in a muddy pool, and that stars are missiles that God uses to shoot demons, and ordered his followers to drink camel urine, and to squat while peeing, and walked around covered in semen, and sucked on the tongues of little boys, then we get to criticize and mock him. Those are the rules. And guess what? Stop. I mean, I don't like those rules at all. So, you know, the reason I just play it, because what happened today, otherwise I don't really care for the video much. Uh, but they are saying, uh, Zaka Naik is saying, keep track of those people who are insulting Islam. So when they go to the Middle East or they go to Islamic countries, we arrest them, we kill them, we do, you know. You stupid idiot. You stupid idiot, Zaka Naik. First of all, I'm not stupid. And I'm going to prove it for you. You stupid idiot, Zaka Naik. You yourself are wanted in India. And you are saying we will be wanted by you. I mean, you don't, you cannot even go back home in your own country for a sponsoring terrorist. Are you there, Zakir Naik? Prince and Prince, first of all, I am not supporting terrorists. I'm supporting Allah and the Prophet. And we have the right to do so. Yeah, by putting bombs, terrifying people, killing women and children. And this is how you support the Prophet. You see, in France, the same people who make cartoons for Muhammad, they make tons of cartoons for Jesus. Do you know that? The same, those atheists, those are atheists. The cartoon, the one who made the cartoon are atheists. They made cartoon for Jesus, they made cartoon for Moses, they made cartoon for Abraham, they made cartoon for a president. They made cartoon of everybody. Not a single Christian said to them, we will kill you. Why? 
First, we are smarter than this. Secondly, if you believe in God, God punish people for their sin, not you. Islam is of the devil. Islam want to punish you by the hand of a stupid victim. Actually, the one who commit the crime today is a victim too. He died. You see, the stupid idiot, he committed the crime. Why? Everybody condemning the criminal, but nobody condemned the real criminal, which is Muhammad. It is Muhammad who promised this man, when you go to heaven, Abdul, I'm going to go and give you women who you can see the marrow of their bones. This horny terrorist, and Islam is a horny religion, and you like it or not, if you are a Muslim, you believe in Islam, you are a horny person. Because the whole point of worshiping Allah is to get in sex. Otherwise, why Allah promise you too much sex? Unless it's about sex. And not only he promised you sex, he promised you he's, he's racist. He promised you women, they are so white to the point you can see through the marrow of their bones. S through the marrow of their bones. In case you are not getting the point, this guy today who attack this person who insulted Muhammad supposedly, he is doing it to get this. Just to give you an idea, because you might not understand what Muhammad is saying. All of this religion is about this. This religion is not about religion. This religion, it's a sexual cult. This is what Muhammad, he promised him. You will have women, you can see the mirror of their bones. This horny terrorist who attacked this poor teacher today and cut his head, his dream is by the end of the day, they will shoot him so he will get those women and this women or those women they would do this to him oh boy Muhammad he promised him that the second his blood is shed or shed all his sin is forgiven and he will be in heaven doing boom boom and you can tell I mean this is something no one can resist I don't know how many of you are singles, but obviously this is too much to look at. Forgive me. Many of you might get excited for seeing the promise of Allah. So those terrorists are not the criminals. The real criminal is the filthy Muhammad, the scumbag Muhammad. Everybody is condemning the act, but nobody condemning the teaching. I mean, how stupid the world is. How For how long people, they will stay silent. Nobody want to say, okay, this guy, he did that for what? Uh, for Muhammad. Okay, why he did it for Muhammad? Muhammad, he says, the one who insulted the prophet, kill him. The one who disobeyed the prophet, kill him. The one who changed his religion, kill him. The atheist kill him, the gay kill him, the lesbian kill him, the Christian kill him, the, the Jewish kill him, the Buddhist kill him, everybody have to die. So they go after the guy who is a victim of the dream, sexual dream, which Muhammad implemented in the head of those sick terrorists. But nobody is going after the sick Muhammad. Because people, they became so coward to say the truth. Like the story of the naked king. Nobody want to say the king is naked until a child. He said, you know what? The king is naked. He's wearing nothing. Nobody dare to say the king is naked. So the message of terrorism and those who they are threatening us, we will know your name. We will send you, etc. We will know your address. My friend, come to my address if you're there. You see, thank God we are not living in France. Here we carry weapon. Here in this country, the first thing in the Constitution, you have the right to defend yourself and bear arm. So a terrorist, we will make his ass like a screen door before even he use it. We fear no one. And all days is over. And not only that, we promise you we will do more. Actually, I'm thinking, I don't know if people like the idea, I'm thinking to find some Christians who they are willing to volunteer, who they are good in drawing, to make a new book of cartoon. Cartoon book, like we take a hadith and we make it in cartoon. And I will not let anyone 
give me his name which means you draw the cartoon I don't want to know anything about you for security so we will take a hadith and you make a cartoon about it you send it to me and I will publish it under my name you have no responsibility if you think you can stop us if you think actually you will make us more angry and you you make us do more you know the reason I am here on YouTube do you know why Muslim they start posting pictures they saying this is me I said okay well you know YouTube okay what is this I don't know even what is YouTube you know when they start doing that I said oh this is this is supposedly me I look good <laughs> finally I look good anyway so I said okay well you know what look like I need to use YouTube from now on otherwise I did not come to YouTube by myself it's the Muslim who made me come same as the program called Paltok, you know, I used to use a program called Hear Me. I went to Paltok because they challenged me, if you are a man, come to Paltok. I went there. And then the Muslim, they challenged me, they said, well, if you have too much knowledge about Islam, how come you don't have a single book? So I made books. <laughs> Everything I did, it is you, Muslim, who made me do it. Honest to God, it was your idea. And the cartoon idea today, actually, I made a cartoon already. How many of you did see my video, the cartoon? <clears throat> Anyone? Uh, no, it's, the quotation is not about his real teacher or not. You know, just to tell you, it's a teacher. Anyone watch my video about the cartoon, Muhammad and his donkey? I made a cartoon many years ago. And that one, actually, because of the cartoon. You know, they want to kill, they want to, etc. I made cartoon myself. Come and kill me. I spent a lot of money from it. I bought a person, a computer from my pocket. I paid him a lot of money from my pocket. I bought the software from my pocket. And I made the cartoon. So if you think I cannot do it, you are mistaken. You don't have the cartoon? You guys are missing a lot. I don't know. Let me see if I can find it. If any of the admin have the link for the cartoon, you can post it. <clears throat> and feel free to download it, please, and share it again. Share it in Skype, I mean, in Facebook, etc. And you know, the funny thing is, there's an article. Uh, an article in... Uh, Washington Post. I mean, those people, they make me laugh. The response of people around the world in Twitter. Okay, what is the response? What is the response? Many people, brother, they condemn the attack around the world. Look, look how many dots. All those people, they condemn the attack. Not even a single one of them. He condemned the real killer, Muhammad. You are condemning the poor guy who was a fool, convicted, or let us say convinced by the filthy Muhammad to go and do it. All those people they condemned, who? The guy? I mean, do you see the stupidity? Don't condemn the guy, the guy himself is a victim. So we have two victims today. We have the killer and the one who is killed. Both are victims of the filthy Muhammad. This is the truth. And you will notice always that those who they are teaching Muslim to go and kill, they themselves didn't do it. They are coward. They are filthy. You see this guy, his name is Ali Dawa. He said to apostate prophet, we are watching you. You coward son of Muta. Why you are watching? Come and do it. Aren't you a man? Oh no, we will send you a stupid idiot like this guy to do it. They don't dare. All of those YouTubers are potatoes. They use the dummy one. They look for someone he is in drugs, someone he is desperate, someone he have no life. You know, eh, go. Those are making good money. Tens of thousands of dollars coming as donation. They will not go and do it. The jihad is for the poor, not for those who they are making a lot of money. We are watching you. We are. <laughs> Enjoy the watch. <laughs>
So this is the article from the Washington Post about how many people they condemn the attack around the world. But nobody is condemning the real criminal. criminal. Muhammad, the faith in Muhammad, the one who says, go and kill them wherever you find them. All of you is against the victim, actually, not against the real criminal. Because even this terrorist, he himself is a victim. He's a victim of the teaching of Muhammad. If you want to stop terrorism, you fight Islam, my friend. You don't fight terrorists. Because you kill one terrorist, turn tomorrow will come. As long as there is somebody believe in the filthy teaching of Muhammad, there's more terrorists to come. Those terrorists will be laying eggs everywhere. Because you are not fighting the teaching of Muhammad. You are fighting the terrorist. And that is your mistake. To win a war, the first war you win is the mind and the heart of people. Muslims are victims, and this is why I say to Christians, never hate Muslims. Islam is filthy, Islam is garbage, yes. But we need to help them. However, we will fight terrorists. And if we have to, and you are a terrorist coming to us, we will make you shish kebab. The same as we did to Osama bin Laden, and the same we did to ISIS leader. You will not be better if you are a terrorist. So, the right thing to do is to expose and fight the idea of terrorism before you fight the terrorist. And if the terrorist, they cannot find somebody believe in the garbage of Muhammad, that if you go and die for Muhammad, you will get women who have no flesh or you can see through their bones, then nobody will join ISIS. And nobody will join Al-Qaeda. And nobody want to die for the sake of Muhammad. Because now they are not convinced that they will get the stupid promise of Muhammad. And they are convinced that Muhammad promise is nothing but a fraud like him. So this is my message for everybody. I'm not going to keep you for long. Feel free to download the video. You want to fight terrorism? You want to have secure society? You want to solve the problem with Islam? It's not by fighting terrorists alone. You have to fight terrorists anyway. I mean, it's not a choice. If they are terrorists, they will attack you. But you have to fight the cult itself behind terrorism. As long as everybody is saying Islam is peace, you are lying to yourself, you are a fool, you are stupid. It's like saying Corona is fine, it's good. Those who say Islam is peace is the same as somebody saying you know, Corona is nice. Corona is ice cream. Have you ever heard of somebody want to fight a disease? You don't even dare to mention the disease. It's your fault, Western people in the West, especially atheists. You sponsor Islam for the last 50, 60 years. Anyone who speak against Islam, you call him Islamophobe. And now you atheists are getting killed. Because of your stupidity defending Islam. What Islamophobe mean? Islamophobe mean that you are sick. The second you talk about Islam, you are sick. Islam is good. This is the message behind Islamophobe. And then every scumbag in the West newspapers, or you know, usually liberals, even those who claim they are to be conservative, they use the same term. Who is the one have a phobia? A Muslim have a phobia from pork, from Christian, from the Jews, from the cross, from the Bible, from party, from music, from wine. I mean, they have phobia from everything. The only thing we want from Islam is not to be violent. That's it. I mean, a Muslim who want to believe, kiss a black stone, kiss a black stone. Why not? We are not talking about the Buddhas. Why we are not talking about the Hindus? There's many people who believe they are wrong for me as a Christian. But there is only one belief is aggressive and dangerous. The solution is to fight terrorism, is to ban Islam from schools, to ban Islam from France, to ban it from USA, to ban it from everywhere, for Islam is nothing but terrorism. This is the truth, and nobody want to say it. That is Islam. 
those who try to say to you Islam is peace they are a bunch of they, they themselves are terrorists by the way those who say Islam is peace they are terrorists because they are promoting terrorism how in the world people in France they will believe you Islam is peace I assure you, many they will make article today in France. Say those they don't present Islam. Well, how they don't present Islam? Muhammad he killed for insulting him. Muhammad he said clearly, kill those who don't believe in Allah and the last messenger. Chapter nine, verse twenty-nine. Muhammad he said, what they are doing today. Yet they say to you, this is not Islam. I mean, what kind of? Okay, can you show me where is the true Islam? Where we can find it? Was Muhammad a terrorist himself or not? Muhammad himself, he says, I was victorious by terror. Nusir to Barab. Nusir to what? Barab. I was victorious by terror. And those are people hoping they can be victorious by terrifying you. So you are going to bow down to them. You will be subdued. Do you see it? Even Muhammad, he said, I was victorious by, ter by terror by, from a distance of one month journey. From where? One month journey. Some people convert to us now because you are not doing your part. We have to expose it. That's what I'm saying. Education, my friend. Education. Your children's, your child, he go to school. He don't know anything about Christianity. He is an atheist, maybe. And then he meet a Muslim, and the Muslim they fool him, and then he convert to Islam, and then he join terrorism. Good luck. Anyone he convert to Islam is a victim of his stupidity. We have in our school system because nobody will share the truth. Our churches. They are like, okay, we go to church. When the last time you heard a priest telling you the truth about Islam? You don't. No, you go to church, wave your hand to Jesus. Serious talk? No, there's no serious talk. There's no serious talk. The priest is not a priest. He's doing business, like Muhammad. All what he cared for, he get free health insurance, he get a nice car, he get a salary, make a donation, uh, pray, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, go back home. So your son grew up, he never heard anything about the cult of Islam. He go to school, somebody is a Muslim next to him, he start doing in his ears, Quran, say scientific miracles, etc. All the propaganda, we know it. And then second day your son come to you and says, I became a Muslim. And then the day after he joined ISIS, like what happened to the 16 years old from Australia. 16 years old, this appeared from his house, and the stupid father and mother, they never even noticed for two months after that. Can you believe it? And they were surprised to see their son in Syria. He disappear in Australia, he appear in Syria. How he appeared in Syria? He was riding a car to do a suicide bombing, 16 years old. The son is a victim of his parents, his victim of your priest, his victim of our churches who teach nothing. They became buildings just for social, like, like a mosque. You know, in mosques, what they do? I mean, it's just a ritual. There's no God. In the Muslim mosque, there's no God. There's rituals. It's a duty you do. And many churches today, they are just doing rituals. There's no teaching. The first thing, thing Christ he did is teaching. He stand, he teach. You go to church, you pray. That's it, it's this what we do in the church. Go and read all the Bible. The whole Bible is teaching. If we take the words of a prayer in the Bible out of the teaching, I don't think we will find even 3% or 4%. The church became 100% prayer place, zero teaching. And here we are doing what the church is not doing. Just two days ago, somebody asked me, are you going to church? I said, oh, why, why am I going to church? I am doing what the church are not doing. If the church is doing what it should do, I will not be even talking. I'm not a priest. What is the priest? 
when the last time you heard the priest speaking against Islam, you know? And actually, if a priest is speak against Islam, they, they smear him. He's a hate monger, he's Islamophobe, he's sick, he's disgusting. Right? So my friends, we will never be subdued, we will never bow down. You kill, you do, you do, you try to do as much as you want. We will never change. Because we made a promise to Christ, not to you. We are going to be anti the devil, anti the devil for the last day of our life. It doesn't matter you hit me, you kill me. Actually, if you kill me, you will make my videos more popular, way more popular. And my books for sure, which is translated to all languages in the world. Too late. My, my books right now, there's a new translation actually, translated as we speak to Chinese, Romanian, somebody he promised he would do the Korean, but I think it's the same one doing the Chinese book, so he have to finish the Chinese first. Uh, uh, we have Serbian, we have Polish, we have Russian, we have uh, uh, German, we have uh, Spanish, uh, we have a French, I mean, you name it. I don't know, in, uh, Dutch, you know. We have many languages. So my books is all over the world. So killing me will make me more successful. We fear no death, my friend. We are believers. We will die only once. And there's a huge difference between somebody who die as a believer for his faith and somebody who die as a coward. He did nothing in his life. So you cannot scare us and we will never be scared of you and those who knows me they knew the most the more they threat me the more i do more you threat me instead of doing two hours oh, actually my short video is four hours you know did i say today my video is going to be short i'm not going to keep you long i said that 30 minutes ago right okay 30 minutes ago i said i'm not this is how short my video so if I make my video two hours when it is short, I will make it 10 hours when it is not short, if you threat me. Actually, there's somebody, he asked me for permission to translate to Urdu and he is doing it now, I forgot. All right? Uh, the only thing, you know, I'm not really doing too much long video. My internet is not good. Uh, the, the village I'm living in, I have the most horrible internet. And now I'm trying to switch different company and they promised me they will install it soon. So we will see. So uh, we are victorious and they are losers and they are helping us. They are giving us a hand. They are showing France, all of France, every French citizen today is spitting on the grave of Muhammad. There is a flood of a spit on the grave of Muhammad today in France. So if I speak, I have my book in France. How many people are going to buy my book today? Guess what? The sales of my book increase crazy. People want to learn about Islam, so they go search on Amazon. You know? Amazon, okay, well, you know, the secret, the, prophet, the, the Arabian prophet. So you help us. And actually, when you make a threat against people, especially, the, you know, us, not only you help us to be more popular, we get more donation. Honest to God, each time you do that, I don't know, I mean, you saw the video of David Wood. Donations start coming like rain. So each time you try to silence them, it works the opposite way. You are a fool. Thank you. Actually, I'm so glad that the devil is foolish. Otherwise, we will have difficulty to convince people that the devil is the devil because the devil come to us saying his peace. You know what I mean? And now everybody want to blame ISIS, but nobody want to blame Muhammad. The truth is Muhammad is ISIS. Muhammad is the first member of ISIS. He is the founder. All right? Do you know Hamad Abdul Samad? Yeah, I saw his video. I don't know him as a person. 
Yeah, very good man. Yeah, you see the numbers of those exposing Islam is very big, and you know, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And you know, they are hitting so hard. You know, somebody asked me, why you don't do uh, Arabic videos? First, I used to speak in Arabic before. And the first one I started, you know, my, my language is not really, my English is not my first language, right? Uh, but then I noticed, I mean, I'm not really needed there. There's a lot of people doing the job. So why I want to do it in, in Arabic? So I started doing my work in English, even though my English is not good. But, you know, God is good. And as long as people, they can understand me, I'm glad for that. You know, like, you know, that sometimes I want to pronounce a word, I pronounce it in a funny way, and the Muslim, they make fun of me. I mean, okay, they make fun of me. Still, with my funny English, I made tens of thousands of Muslims leave Islam, either become Christians or leave Islam without becoming Christian. Who care? If with my funny English, I was able to do what I did, imagine if my language is like Shakespeare. You know what I mean? So you are not really, uh, when you make fun of, the funny, you see a guy saying, Christian Prince, look how he speak English. I mean, I want to see how your prophet, he can read his name. You will see a Muslim making comment, Christian Prince, is that English? Go and learn English. Okay, we speak Arabic. Your Arabic is funny. My Arabic is funny, my English is funny. It doesn't matter what you say just because you are a Christian Prince. Right? <clears throat> And actually, yeah, you know, one, one other reason, actually, uh, sometimes there's a word I don't correct, and I don't correct it on purpose, because I think people like it the way I say it. <laughs> if I correct it, people will not like it. So, uh, anyway. Uh, my English, actually, it's English. It's not English. It's not, you know, first time I went to a chat room, I, I told you this before, right? I don't know what chat room is about. Like, this is the first time I see a chat room. So I went in the chat room and I said this. Uh, let me type in the text so you see what I'm talking about. I said, hello, guys. Okay. I'm just being honest with you. This is what I said. Hello, guys. Uh, but I typed that in the chat. And then that guy who is in the microphone, he started cursing me. Like, what's, what's wrong with those American people? I did not do anything wrong. I just say, hello, guys. And then I said, hello. Again, like, is he talking to me? I mean, why this guy is so upset? Hello, guys. And is the curse is coming. It's you. Like, what happened? Like, what? I mean, what, what, what I did? I mean, what's wrong with you? Like, what's wrong with those Americans, you know? They are crazy. I mean, I just I just say hello. <laughs> this is how it was, you know? Just give you an idea, you know? But even that did not stop me from doing my mission. And actually, the more I speak, the more I learn my, from my mistakes that this is not right. You are not saying, guys. Anyway, so uh, never, never let obstacle in your way stop you only lazy people uh, you know people who don't want to be something in life they make obstacles stop them many obstacles in front of me you're english you know you are you know we don't understand what you are saying you make mistakes in grammar how in the world this guy is going to make a book even that did not stop me And this is why, because I believe that if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? I can do it. And the one who nobody used to listen to, he has millions of people listening to him around the world. By the way, number country, number one country in the world listening to my videos is Indonesia. If you go right now, we search for Indonesian videos, you will find millions of people saw the videos some videos they passed the million a long time ago. Actually, those who are from Indonesia who take my video, my video will have like, let us say, uh, in first few hours, maybe a few, he take my video, he posted there right away, he have like 10, 20, 30,000. I mean, it's my video, but he get more, more view. 
because people in Indonesia they were hungry for someone to mute the lies of Islam they were hungry for that and then we came glory to the Lord and now we have a huge audience of Indonesian I love those people I love them both Muslim or Christian doesn't matter I love them all and that's why I gave my book in Indonesian language for free is that because I'm rich absolutely not I'm trying to change my car actually it's very old car very small I can't even put Muhammad in the trunk this is how small it is but because we love them we are giving them for free we give the books in the Russian for free Serbian for free Polish for free uh, uh, soon the Romanian for free and we have the, the new Russian book will be soon for free the Quran and science is already done but we are going to fix the, the, the uh, some grammar mistakes you know we will give for free for we give it free and the Lord he reward us even better you believe it or not I give for free I never go hungry That is the truth. And because actually I give for free my books, I get more volunteer to translate my books, which is amazing. You know what I mean? Because people will say, okay, this guy is making money. I should ask him for, for translation then. No, we are giving them for free. So people that come and translate voluntarily. All my books is translated voluntarily, not a single person get paid a penny actually there is a person who translated from uh, the Dutch book paid from his pocket we made the book in Malaysian language for free you know you name it anyway so God is good and Muslims are helping us to expose Islam and my message is very simple you attack us. you know you name it anyway so God is good and Muslims are helping us to expose Islam and my message is very simple you attack us we get more successful you behead somebody you fuel our engine to expose you people don't want to listen to us France today is awake actually just a few days ago the president of France he said Islam has a problem. Islam what? Has a problem. Now you noticed. French people, now you noticed. Why you did not notice 30 years ago? Why? Where is your brain? Now you notice because they are trying to establish a caliphate state in France. You believe it? Can you believe it that France, they want to establish an Islamic state in it? You know, when uh, when somebody in Fox News says there's no go zone in France, Muslim terrorists, they are taking over. Well, for CNN, you know, there was bigotry, hatred, Islamophobia. Here we go, it's in front of you. This is the president of France. Those cowards who defend Islam in all those stations. They label you the second you say the truth. They give you a label. Islamophobe. You know, you are sick. You have a phobia. And then they themselves get killed. The one who accuse us to be Islamophobe, they are the atheist, they are the one who is getting killed. How sick? And for how long we will stay sick? So wake up, all nations. We are not against people who their name is Muslims. We are against Islam. We don't, we don't hate anyone. We want peace with everyone. We want Muslims to live in peace with us. We want the Muslim to come and have coffee in my house, no problem. 
We discuss about God, no problem. We agree, disagree, no problem. But we want a Muslim who will not take a knife and kill somebody because somebody don't like his God. That is the problem. And because you are so coward and stupid to see the truth that Islam teach violence, promote violence, you are now living in the terror of violence under the shadow of the violence of ISIS and Muhammad. Until now, you don't dare to say the truth. Ali Abbas, he said, he want to buy my books to prove my lies. Okay, you know, Abbas, at least you are smarter than the rest of Muslims. There's a Muslim organization, they promised me they will buy all my books to burn them. And I was praying all night saying, please do it. <laughs> at least you are trying to use your brain to think, my friend. No problem, prove me wrong. But the Muslims, they said to me, they will buy all my books so they can burn them. I mean, <laughs> what a smart idea. <laughs> I don't know. You can use my books if you want for your stove, you know, buy them and burn them. This is how you can find the truth. And then Amazon will print more and send you more, you know, just buy as much as you want. Okay. Because everything in my books is a true with reference. Even we have Photoshop, I mean, sorry, sc uh, a screenshot of the, uh, the pages from your books. What do you want more? So, good luck with that. All right. But anyway, if you like to burn my books too, make videos, like make a video, go in France, in the middle of France or Paris or England, you know, it says, burning the book of a Christian prince, Allahu Akbar, you know, just do it and make a video. I, I, I wish you a good luck. A lot of people, they will watch your videos and will be famous, you know. Hmm. By the way, the first people who burned books in history, as we know, it was Muslims, and they burned their own book. Do you remember? They burned their own book. Uthman, the Caliphate, he burned the Quran. The first one who burned the Quran, it was the Caliphate of Islam. And then they got upset. I'm not mocking your religion. I'm saying the truth. You don't have a religion. What is your religion? Ali, what is your religion? Tell me. When you say you have a religion, what is that? Somebody, he kisses a stone, he believes it's the right hand of Allah. Is that a religion? Or this is paganism? You don't have religion. Have you ever heard of somebody believe that the black stone forgive his sin? Have you ever heard somebody believe that there's a God? He will make women see through and that's supposedly sexy and you know it? This is religion. So when you say we have religions, we love. What religion do you have? Where is your religion? Where we can find it? You don't have religion. You have sexy club. This is nothing but a sexy club. It is a sexual club. Members are promised in heaven a lot of women. In earth, we kidnap some women from the enemies and we're raping for now. So don't tell me you have a religion. You don't. Going around the black stone, kissing the black stone, crying in front of the black stone. You know, well, this is your religion. In the top of that, chopping the head of those who insult the prophet. Don't mock. What do you will do? You will cut my head now? Come over. I cannot imagine how many people will read my books after I die if you kill me. Even when I die, I will beat Muhammad in his grave. Even when I'm dead. So, I think it's enough for today. And, and this is my short video. It was only for an hour. Man, this is a short video. I mean, this guy, his short video is amazing. Can you find shorter video than Christian Prince videos? This is the shortest. I mean, that this is very short. All right. As I promise you, I keep my promise. I keep my promise like Muhammad, you know? <laughs> it's going to be a short video. I'm not going to keep you long. It was an hour, one hour. I mean, now we are saying it's a short video and now soon we are going to close, right? We are like, we are done. Now it's, it is, it is nine point, uh, uh, two minutes after nine. So, 
God knows when this video is going to be over. You think by 10? He's saying he's finished now. Like, he's saying now, I'm done. Like, supposedly now he's done. Like, you know, okay, let us see. All right, you know? Yeah, he's done. Like, he's leaving now. Five meters gone, 10 meters gone, 15 meters gone. It's like Muhammad, you know, there is a hadith where Muhammad, he says to the Muslims, who is sincerely ready to go to heaven? They said, us. He said, who is sincerely ready to go to heaven? They said, yeah, us. He said, who is sincerely ready to go to heaven? The Muslim, they can search, like, yes, yes, yes. And then he said, who is sincerely ready to go to heaven? The Muslim, they went crazy. Allahu Akbar, yes, us, 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 us. And then Muhammad, he said, say, inshallah. Like, what the heck? All of this, when you hear Muhammad saying, who is sincerely ready to go? You think, you think the bus is coming to pick them up? I mean, when somebody say to you, who is sincerely ready to go to heaven? Us, us, no, who is? And he repeated, he repeated, and he keeps saying us, and they get so excited. And then he said to them, say, inshallah, those fools, they thought the bus is coming. They are going to be there after five minutes. They went crazy. Say, inshallah. And this is my story here. Say, inshallah, that we are going to finish today. <laughs> I know you don't like me it's okay anyway guys for now we are done for today thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and uh, uh, feel free to download the video as you know we don't keep it for long because YouTube is run by a bunch of idiots and uh, those idiots are very 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 sincere idiots and always they defend the truth which means Islam brother Islam is peace anything you say in YouTube against Islam it's hate speech you are teaching hate. Yeah. You can post a video against Jesus. You can do anything. You know, but if you talk about Muhammad, it's a hate speech. I believe that YouTube is running or run by different kind of species. <laughs> they are coming from them from Mars. I don't know. I don't know what those people who they are in California and in YouTube, they are coming from. I have no idea. But for sure, they are different species. Because they see what we cannot see. The second you say the truth, the only the only thing you can say hate in YouTube, if you say I hate Trump, you're good. We we'll love you. Say it. Huh? The second you say Islam is better, that's a hate speech. Hate is peace. You 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 different species. YouTube admins. Oh boy. Let us see how for how long this video will stay before they take it down. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And this is your brother, humbly, Christian Prince. Say to you, I love you all. Stay uh, strong. Don't let them scare you. Nothing will scare us. No killing. No sword. No army. Nothing will separate us from the truth. We are believers, not deceivers. And those who believe, they will be victorious the lord he promised us and the lord always he keep his promise we are victorious by his name christ is lord islam is false made by a terrorist and if you believe in him you might end as one like muhammad as a terrorist thank you